I was lucky enough to inherit this land from my father. His reach was long, his success expected. But I... Samuel... I am barely the child he was, let alone the man that he became. So what now? The harvest is stolen, the sheep's throats cut. Was his death not punishment enough? We will solve this. I love you, Samuel. And I love you. Without you, this punishment would surely be death to me. And let us live forever. Side by side. Two young people in love. Why do you look at me so often? I cannot help it. My eyes are drawn to you. Looking at you gives me the warmth that a fire cannot, and your mind inspires me to be the person I thought I never could be. <laughs> but when he stands to lose everything he has worked for... Do you hear the screams? I cannot delay any longer! If I am lost, I will be too late. His young love attempts to save him. He mustn't. If you leave now, I fear you will not come back, and that, Samuel, will be punishment. Nay. Will be death for us both. But she could not save him. She demanded to know exactly who did it. What cruel world would take a kind man, the man I love, but let those who murdered him walk without conviction? Without justice. I will make them rue the day. I will make them pay. With help, I will get justice for Samuel. <laughs> and she came to the right place. Oh, this is gonna get rough. The Laugh Out Loud Comedy of the Year. Introducing Peaches Oba as Princess Jade, Brooke Tingles as Foxman, Rianne Lorenzi Woodhow as Samuel L. Brooke, and six time award nominee Gavin Trustdale as Detective Darren, the crime fighting detective with a nose for crime. I'm going to pause your crime spree. Poor and Peace, a John Kane film. <laughs> to say that Poor and Peace would be a success is a guarantee. To say that everyone in this room will lead a prosperous and happy life is a guarantee. To say that at least one in five of us will contract an STI at some point in the next two years because of a prostitute who didn't keep his word is almost certain. When I look around this room at the array of talent who have made my 22nd film a reality, I can say only thank you. To Gavin who sadly cannot be with us this evening, whose subtle and intense performance as Darren the Talking Dog deserves much praise. Who would have thought that a talking dog would feel so... human? Peaches, you melted hearts. You did not merely act, you became Princess Jade. Your commitment to the role will solidify your stance as one of the UK's finest actresses. Brooke Tingles... I almost forgot you weren't a fox man offset such as your superb expert method acting. I salute you, sir, and trust that the jury in your public defecation lawsuit accepts your defense. Abigail, my beautiful daughter, who helped me to produce the film, I've never been more proud of your shoot-first, think-later actions. I'm so glad you gave up on your dream of working in the fashion industry to join the family production company. The day you told me, I had never been more proud that the condom split inside your mother. You have her eyes, her tenacity. We can only hope that you are in fact mine, as I wasn't the only one there that night. Julia, 
Your cupcakes were a highlight of our daily lunchtime dining experience. Without you, many smiles would not have existed on those long days. Dexter Douglas, who played Dad and the Dog. Well, they do say, don't they, never to work with babies and animals? Well, we proved them wrong on this production. What a fine dog he was. Such tender meat. Ryan. And to Max, who sadly passed away during a botched stunt while dressed up as the dog. May you rest in peace, sir, and may you rest assured that your ultimately humiliating death has guaranteed the film I mentioned during awards ceremonies. To Max. Oh, look at that, a guitar. Well, perhaps you should all sing the Poor and Peace theme tune, given that we spent 40% of the budget on it. <clears throat> a lady's husband is dead by the evil foxman stared. Foxman may grin, but beware. His success will be made fair. By Dunnan, Dunnan the dog detective in Poor and Peace. Poor and peace, he takes on evil with his paws, he's justice on all fours. Poor and peace, poor and peace, if you don't sing along, I shall never cast you again. He thwarts the bad and the insane while being partly trained. Poor and peace, poor and peace, he's solving problems with the lick, his penis looks like lipstick. Poor and peace, poor and peace, he is a hero, a king, a god, he is a talking dog. Poor and peace. He's Darren, Darren the dog detective in Poor and Peace, Poor and Peace, Poor and Peace! Mm. These are so good. He's Who are you? We've been working together for five months, Julia. You play guitar very well. Thank you. You're plus one, not here either. Mine's stuck in traffic. Not that there is any. Three people I asked said no. Two said they had SARS, which I can't help but think is a lie. Maybe it's me? But that can't be true, because I'm a people person. Perhaps our plus ones are hang out together in the traffic whilst watching the apparent fire. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what she's doing. Hey. Sorry about that. Bit OCD. Oh, that's okay. I do a thing to remember if I lock the front door. Yeah? Yeah, I just tap the knob three times. Sounds like my weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if she doesn't think I'm tall enough, that's fair, but she's wearing high heels, come on. I mean, I just nodded and said, that's fine. She might not even be thinking this stuff, but I reckon she is. I'm good at knowing what people are thinking, especially women. It's a knack that I've mastered. It's probably what makes me such a good actor. I get into the minds of the characters, I feel their heart beating with mine. They breathe, I breathe. They touch, I touch. Only you know? one second. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, you're right. Yeah, great, thanks. You're single, right? I am. Brooke, Julia was wondering if you could help her find the Wi-Fi. She says only you could help her get into the mind of the internet. Sorry, Ryan. Duty calls. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thought you needed saving. Yeah, I'm 100% sure he skins people. He does have the eyes of a murderer. Yeah, in his pockets. Does Abby still think we... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's fine. It's not. No, it's not, but, uh... Well, I can't think of anything that'll make it better, so... Well, we said what we can. Several times. Just... Don't let it ruin this experience. I won't. Trust me, I'm still shocked I'm even here. I was so bad during the audition. I'm sure that's not the case. I sneezed while kissing someone during a scene. Ooh. 
You're not supposed to do that. No. I do that all the time. Along with while kissing someone, I sort of keep my eyes open like a really paranoid owl. <laughs> no way! I do that too! How else am I supposed to know if they're enjoying my aggressive teeth on teeth too? Exactly! I, I love just to hold on till love arrives. <laughs> Same! Mm. I work with my dogs, so it'll work with everyone else. Did you know a duck's penis is sort of that? Now. All this silence? Too much will make you think! Sing with me now! He takes on evil with his paws, his just his heart, no fault! Paws and bees! Paws and bees! Sing! He caused the man of the insane on being born in dread! Paws and bees! Paws and bees! Paws and bees! I had a really nice time tonight. Thank you. I have too. I can't believe you're single. Oh, I can. I mean, it's no one else's fault but mine. I'm just... <sighs> Really picky, even the smallest thing, I just like freak out over and I try not to, but you know, it's hard to control. I totally understand. I used to fancy the girl from Jurassic Park. I uh, can't help but compare everyone to her now. I mean, if you can't trick a raptor into being trapped in an industrial sized fridge, then what's the point of us even being together? Evening, 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 goers. How was your meal? Yeah, it was really good. Thank you, Lee. You're very welcome. Do you know she's my, uh, she's my favourite customer? <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's funny, she's clever, and she's a third one. She's a triple threat. And that's what, have, she, have you told her she, she's writing a bloody book? Have you, have you told you about that? She has. I'm still waiting for my signed copy. When are you gonna get me a signed copy so I can go, oh, look at this, isn't she great? Oh, thanks, Billy, I'll give you the money. Okay, cool, I'll put it on the bill, actually. Which is there. So enjoy the rest of your evening, guys. Um, you certainly will, what with the beautiful view to be looking at. Um, Fantastic, a fantastic uh, person. Um, if, um, if if I didn't like men, yeah, I'd be there. So that's everything. He seems very pro you. Oh wow, well, yeah, you know. Should we split it? Oh no, I've got this. Are you sure? Positive. Oh, so nice. I'll get the next one then. The next one. It's good to hear I haven't made you freak out yet. Oh no, I have fun. I'm going to stop being so picky and focus on that. I'm secretly high-fiving myself in my mind right now. Ooh, chocolate coins. Uh, I know what you're thinking, but if you leave the foil on, it gives an extra little bit of texture. They're not chocolate coins? So, well, give me the whole thing. Oh, trying to escape. Yeah, no, really, they're, they're not chocolate. I really don't. Uh. Kate. 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 You're such a tease, George Bush. Sorry? Why are you back so late? Oh, uh, you know, just partying hard and crazy like someone in the mid-twenties should do. <laughs> Have you been eating chicken nuggets in your car again? And I cried a bit as well. You cried? Good for you. Metaphorically, metaphorically. 
haven't cried since like 2002. When your dad died? No. Surprisingly for me, it was when I found out that my favourite pair of jeans didn't fit. They were like cool and blue and they had this like badge side into them. It was like a stop sign. It was just on my bottom. It was like fashionable, but also like really sound advice from someone my age. So Mm. I'm, I'm dealing with his death in a different kind of way. Living up to his name as an actor? Repressing my emotions and letting them out in the shed when no one's around. How's writing going? Really good, thanks. I think I just need to print everything off. I really want this to work out, Ryan. I know. I really do. But if you don't send them, you know, it's always going to be a no, you know, with publishers and all that. Yeah, I know. I take it she wasn't very nice to you again. Hmm. You deserve better. Hmm. Night! Night! Ryan, may I come in? We need to talk. What's that? That's Rothko. He should really be red and black. That's an art joke. <laughs>